Hi guys, and guess where we're heading to our... We're going to Mapuza Market. It seems like that market is a bit more cheaper and bigger one. It, it's really far from my area where I am situated. It's like a, it's like a nine kilometer. And we're gonna check out some good stuff and cheap stuff. anything good or for thrifting yet but I've got some good accessories hoping for the best we've came this far so let's see so I think Mapuza market isn't how I thought it would be. I thought it would be more like Saroji market. But my bad, but that's okay. I actually just bought a selfie stick for which I am so glad. As you can see my Hello. angle view has been broken up. And I'm so happy! <laughs> So basically, if you're looking for a western thrifting or clothing, Goa is not the place. So we're here in the shop. Bhaiya ji, hi, bolye. Hi. Bhaiya ji, unko bolye ki subscribe or like kare. Subscribe or like kare. Ah. <laughs> That's my friend using her bargaining tactics. Let's see how much can she get it for. And the winner is Donna. <laughs> that was pretty much of how my trip thing went in Goa. So Kalangut Market, Mabuza, and then Anjuna Market. Yeah. These are the three biggest market in, I'm not sure about South Goa, but um, probably in North Goa where you can thrift. Anjuna market, there is a big flea market on Wednesday and Saturday. Mapuza is pretty big. You can get almost everything. Food, groceries, uh, ethnic wares, accessories, or uh, mechanical stuff that you're looking for. It's like, it's kind of like local supermarket. Kalanga was um, really big too and but basically it was all souvenirs there if you have a type of category that you're looking i mean i'm looking for this niche of a globe you better just forget about all those because like 99 percent of chances is that you're not gonna get that listen until it's a breezy cozy mm, i don't know beachy <laughs> kind of clothes or one piece i bought some pretty cheap accessories i mean cheap stuff and I don't know I just have a kind of big thrill for this and I just love collecting them please do not judge me yeah so here's the first thing that I want to show you guys it's a dozen of glass bangles then was for 50 rupees which is I think kind of worth it for me this, this is a green one this one Guess the price. 50 rupees. <laughs> 50 rupees. Ankle bracelets. And I've been wanting for them for so long. I mean, I don't know, for some or the other reason I couldn't get them. But finally, finally. I've got my hands on this cute pile slash ankle bracelets and this one's for 100 and this one's for 100 this one's for someone and this one's for me so I think I don't know if you're gonna get it for cheaper price in your area or in Bangalore but I don't know 
I didn't find them at least, so probably. Yeah, and it's a size. It was for 200, which attracted me. And I think this is pretty cute. I might give it to my mom though. The camera stand. These two, I got it for like 400. So I think which was pretty a good deal for me. And this. Look at how pretty is this. It's a harmonica. Harmonica, yeah. I don't know how to play it, but I'm learning. I bought it with this xylophone or what you can say, xylophone for three plus. <laughs> but then I found it so cute. I mean, I couldn't resist it. And yeah, together, all together, I got it for like 300. These were the alternate thrifting that I did. And I hope this video was at least a bit helpful for you if it was then please 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 like share and do not forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell button so that you can you know get the notification whenever my video is up and i try to upload videos on friday and thank you so much see you on my next video